our today's tutorial will be dedicated to Magento attributes. This section cannot be described without getting the main idea of what Magento attributes, attribute sets, and attribute groups actually are, and for what purpose they are used. To start, let's view any product in Magento Store. You will see that basically all the product related info is presented as attributes. Product name, price, availability, short description, description, and other product details, these are all attributes of different types. They are used to lay out your products within the catalog in the best possible way and provide your clients the maximum info on the goods listed. Now when you have the basic understanding of what attributes are in Magento, I will show you how to set them. Don't worry, you wouldn't have to create all the attributes yourself, as by default, Magento provides a list of preset product attributes. Upon your desire and requirements, the amount of attributes can be increased, creating new ones. Attributes themselves are gathered in attribute sets and separate attribute groups within them. This is good if you have a very diverse goods sold in the same store. For example, products belonging to computer's attribute set will most likely have hard drive attribute. That will not be necessary for cosmetics items. Close attribute set might have, let's say, material attribute, whereas for cell phones, usually there is no need to include it. As you can see, you need to switch between the sections when creating new attributes and adding them to the attribute set. I will show you how to optimize work with Magento attributes and sets. I will use Store Manager for Magento and my dummy store to show you what benefits you can get managing attributes using it. In Attributes section of Store Manager, you can see all your attributes related information, sets, groups, attributes in one page. No browsing needed, everything is displayed in one place. Thus, this saves you time and reduces efforts greatly. To the right, you can see attributes that are not assigned to any attribute set. If you need to link any attribute to attribute set, just drag and drop it to appropriate group or specific attribute set like this. Besides, you can sort unassigned attributes by name with single mouse click this way. Very helpful if you have multiple attributes that you need to be added to various attribute sets. From this page you can easily add, edit and delete attributes, attribute groups and attribute sets. The only limitation is that you cannot remove system attributes that are responsible for integrity of your data. They are marked with this sign. Let's see how attributes are created and set. Imagine that supplier has provided you with a bunch of new products you were not selling before. In our case, it will be, for instance, cameras. First of all, I will create new separate attribute set for them, pressing Add New Set button. I type attribute set name and define on the basis of what existing set the new one will be created. I will use default. Now we see the list of available attributes and for cameras I would like to create a few more to provide clients additional info on these products. Cameras usually have some specifications related to lens, focusing, image resolution and more. So next I will create attribute group and call it picture quality. Next we need to create attributes for this attribute group. I just press add new attribute and in the form appearing fill in the necessary fields. Let's call the first attribute megapixels. You can make it of any type you want. I will use text field. It is possible to set up a few more settings related to product values and their representation at the front end. Do not forget to fill in product label as this is a required field. 
the same way you can create attributes of other input types. Mandatory fields are marked with asterisk symbol. So you should fill them in before saving. After you press OK, the attribute will be added in tab for unassigned attributes. We can link them to necessary attribute group in bulk, simply dropping like this. Let's see how attributes work in action. Create new product and select cameras attribute set for it. For new product to be added to catalog, all the required input fields and select menus should be filled. Pay attention that new tab has been added to product edit form. It corresponds to the name of attribute group we have added. And here are attributes that we have created earlier. Type in values for newly created attributes and hit OK to save the product. Now, let's view the result at front end, right from this page. In such a way, attributes provide the customer with more information on product specs. Multi select attributes can be also used as search criteria in layered navigation. One more important feature Store Manager for Magento possesses is an ability to export and import attribute sets with attributes. So this way, you can easily transfer your data between Magento stores without manual work done. So that is how attributes work. If you have got any questions, please send us email or ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Hope you had a great time. And now you know how to effectively use attributes and attribute sets managing your Magento product. Stay tuned for more videos and do not forget to download free trial version of Store Manager for Magento to try it with me during my next video. Like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed it. Bye.